Yeah, we all, we, we all do are food. here. Okay. That's the family. We just had breakfast. Oh, yeah. Eric, my brother Rob, my mom, and my dad. And my dad's going to give us a commentary of what a walkabout is all about. Look at the tiny helms over there. See the underneath the. Yes, yeah, there, there you go. Dad spot tiny helms. I don't know if we count those as tiny helms. That look yeah. like a. But possibly the size of them, sure. So, Dad. Today we're in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Have you been in this port before? Yes, we have been. In fact, uh, remember the thing we were up in the second we floor, everyone was on there. We have so. a commentary behind us, Mom. Everyone was the on there. The reason why we're uh, on the ship, her birthday. We saw a, a sloth, sloth. last time, and we went and saw, uh, I think, a banana plantation. So, you, I'd like, hold on, we got some audio. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Excuse me. Here, we'll back up away from the audio. She's okay. So here. Oh, sorry, Dad. You can stand. Let me hold the camera better. Get the Costa Rica in the view. So today we're not doing any um, excursions, which usually involve like go to the beach, zip lining. Um, there's a animal sanctuary. All those things, but they all take about a 40 minute to a 90 minute ride. Yeah, that's right. But so, we're not gonna do that. No, we're gonna see the local stuff. And there, there's a, down right here, there's an area of birds and sloths and stuff right near the port. So it's pretty fun to see. Now a bird's cool, but sloth is the big bonus, right? That's like yeah. the bonus prize. Cause sloths are pretty, pretty awesome animals. I saw one when I was in Costa Rica for a month. I was here in between, um, it was like uh, winter of 20, 2003 before I graduated my green MBA and I was here for a month I started in San Jose went to one hour south of where we're at right now Puerto Viejo to Punta Mona which is Monkey Point and actually one of the very cool travel uh, reality shows features my buddy Stephen Brooks so definitely look for him Monkey Point Steven. Stephen Brooks permaculture farm lived there for a week so great I know wow right wow and then I went to uh, Panama, scuba dove in the uh, Boca Raton, then over, over to, to Costa Rica in the Cocavado, beautiful natural area, up to El Chiripo, back to San Jose, flew home. None of that was supported by the cruise. Like we had right here, you just walk in, you get your meal. That's right, everything. It's pretty easy and convenient. That's why we cruise. That's why you cruise. So today, what do you think you want to go do? Give me the view well, of where you're always, going. Whenever I get into a port, what I like to do is walk. 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 walk, walk. I don't like to shop. Yeah. But, so what happens, people we travel with are very good friends of the Scobies aren't with us this time. But uh, Ron would do a short walk. Karen and, and uh, Linda, Linda would do a shopping stuff. And I just take off walking. Take I'd off walking. I like to get about, about four or five miles in. And then these people behind us are all trying to figure out where they're going. I don't know who they are. Who are you? Sorry, please don't interrupt us. Okay, so I think we go into this cluster of trees. Then we go to this church, which is uh, right there. And it's got all the stained glass. Then, sorry for the jiggly camera. Oh, come on, pinching. Here, let me see if I can flip this around. Okay, there we go. Then I think we weave around and go over to more of the natural and the beach and all that over there. What do you think, Dad? Did Sounds you catch like that? Good plan. Okay. I'm here. We'll get down there. And then we'll climb up into those mountains <laughs> and be back by 5:30 <laughs> for the next round of meals because we all know we're super hungry on the cruise ship. I'm the only one that actually gets hungry because I've had these bouts of feeling ill and not ill. Okay, so that's us down there, like the little people, little ants crawling around. And uh, off we go. Thank you, Mr. Wood. And this. I'll deliver this. Okay, thank you. And we're just going to be giving you a little tour. <clears throat> from the deck above. So we'll pick this up in the next video because what I want to do is find out, oh, super loud. Um, actually, I'm gonna go back out. I'll finish this out there.
too loud. What I want to find out is about housing. Here's the cool thing about Costa Rica. Costa Rica is one of the coolest countries because they're dedicated to sustainability, more so than any country I've ever heard of. Now, there actually are, I take it back, there's some Antarctic or Iceland or, anyway. Um, but Costa Rica, they have ecotourism. Um, I really wanna find out more about the local housing. Like, is there a market for tiny homes here in this area? What is, you know, buying a home like? Can the locals do it? Um, what kind of home? All those things, because in, in the States and in many places around the, around the world, it's very expensive for people that have grown up in that area to actually purchase a home. And I don't know about you, how many people want to pay more than 30% of your income on housing? That means you have less opportunity to spend money on, you know, retirement, savings, medical issues that come up, and, you know, going on vacation. So we're going to go into town and maybe we'll pick up a Wi-Fi somewhere or I'll have a data plan, I'm not quite sure, can't remember. And just let us know what's your interest. Have you been to Costa Rica before? What have you loved about Costa Rica? Uh, anyone know anything about the housing here? The cool thing is I have I have uh, Go Tiny Academy, Andy Fuso, who owns property here, and my buddy Stephen Brooks that owns land here. So they are both locals and also friends of mine from the States that I know very well that I could ask an interview about them because this is the International Tiny Home Discovery Tour, and that's what we're all about, discovering the opportunities for housing and smaller living around the world. All right, everyone, comment, subscribe, like. Thanks for all of it.